Hey guys, so today I'm going to be touring this up base uh, which uh, Lomi Funny Jam made in about um, three or four months. Now this base has been lost uh, twice. The first time it got lost it was around December and then default year restored a bunch of bases and you know he, this base got back. And the first time it was lost I think she was working on this wall here, I was like this done. And then the second time she lost it is because it went over the data cap and then it took like ugh, five or six months to get this base back. Um, well, I would like to find a unicorn and so that because he sent a message out to the Fortio to get it back and the Fortio responded to the message and actually got it back. And then she rushed to finish it off in two days and yeah it looks really cool. So you know losing your base uh, like for six months isn't always great but Honestly, I never thought I would actually see this base again because of just how long it was lost and I, I thought that default it would never actually be able to restore it because it's been so long. But you know, it got restored and it's here, yeah, so you can see. It's basically a remake of the up house, very, very detailed and accurate, honestly. I don't know how, how she did it, like how to make it so detailed and accurate. See the up house in there. So explore and show all the sides. Um, I tried this VR thing out today, like PlayStation VR, and it honestly gave me headache and motion sickness. So that's an experience I'm never doing again. If you see all the sides there and under the house, it actually looks like it's uh, detached, and that's very cool. There's a lot of teeny tiles. This is like. Um, date size 18, but originally it would have been date size like 21, maybe 22. But then default you lowered the date size, so it's now date size 18. I think it's the biggest base like into the date size in the game. Okay, so let's just first show you this kind of area, and then we'll go into the house. But over here we've kind of got the front entrance. It's based off the construction site at the beginning of the movie. This grass is the front yard, and this part here is like. Um, underneath the house. It will be dead grass I guess. I like the colour differences and it's really cool. So yeah there's a white picket fence going all the way around like in the movie. And the actual house itself matches this part. Very cool. So yeah there's a little mailbox here. Very nice. Put some kind of red thing on it. Um, fence again. And over here we've got a little construction site, like a, a local pathway going down here, like a mud pile and some, uh, I forgot what these are called, but building cones and etc. Very nice, I like how the cones are portrayed and that. I just love the building site. And then this apartment, which is like a half torn down apartment which is being built or something or being torn down. It just, this took like a month to make because all of these are teeny tiles and um, posts and etc. And you can wonder how many teeny tiles was used to make this, it's, it's pretty crazy. You've got a bunny foam signature over here and my signature. We've got these little crazy things here very detailed apartment and um, I don't know how how it's made but it's crazy the amount of detail that went into making this apartment it's like very layered detailed under windows as well like wow and for a half broken down apartment it looks really good and then over here we have some toilet booths like in the movie very cool and blue things and then just kind of open the door up. Oops. Another toilet and another toilet. So blue toilet booths. Just kind of shut them. Show you what they look like from the back. Very cool. And over here is just kind of like random construction. And then here we have this really cool looking bulldozer with the nice wheels and stuff I don't really know how to make this kind of stuff I'm gonna try but nah, I don't think I can make it 
Then you've got a um, steering wheel, etc. You can just kind of look around in the window. Very cool. I like, really like the idea of this bulldozer, like in the movie as well. We used um, brown and gold wood to make it. So that's the bulldozer, and the rest of this outside area is just kind of brown stuff, the mud and the thing. And you can see these random floating balloons, which are supposed to be loose balloons. Basically lit up by neon wires. It adds a real cool effect to like the actual house itself. And then if you go over here, you can see the balloons actually lifting the house up. I really like it. Very blocky. A lot of blocks were used to make that. And up here is the entrance to the house. Basically, just hop up the hose pipe up here and jump, jump. Yeah, whatever. Can't get up there. So that's the hose pipe. A lot of wedges and stuff. Got an outside bench you can sit on, porch area, very colourful house. I think these are up house actually in real life that someone made. So yeah, this is kind of a replica of the furniture in the up house. Got curtains and details here. You've got that chair that the old man goes up on, you know, it drags him up there. It's nice little details, um, I don't know what these are, I think coat handles, something. A lamp thing. I think these are picture frames and stuff. Simple, minimalistic, like really nice design. We have um, a plant pot, TV, a lampshade, nice little rug. See so the window there. You have these cool bookshelves and that. These chairs you can sit in and kind of glitch into it here very nice. You have this little table and lamp thing, bookshelf etc. Nice. Very colourful. You have this cool rug down here. And in here we have like I think a study area. Yeah kind of a simple study area. A bin, a desk area. You know the furniture is very like simple but it matches the house interior. A pitch frame. In here we have the kitchen, just kind of a tile pattern thing and then simple tables and chairs. A really nice looking like pot shelf I think. And then we have this little uh, kitchen area, oven vent etc. Very nice. As the detail in the house is actually really cool. Um, is there anything else? Picked frame. Um, let's go upstairs now. And then you've got these picture frames going up here like in the movie where it goes upstairs and up here we have this kind of main hall little cactus plant, bench, picture frames, lamps plant pots etc very very nice in the bathroom I think it looks cool and I think there's supposed to be lights from the mirror and that nice looking plant again if you guys want to know how to do plants and this is probably the best way like wires and random teeny tiles very good technique another plant up here very nice again um, bathroom area I like how she used it what is it called wires for the shower head and stuff I like the colours as well I don't really see brown showers honestly so that's the shower place um, in here, I don't see this area. It was like a little cot room or something. Very small. I like these drawers as well. A lot of different colours used. Uh, what's that? Nice. And in here, we have a bedroom, some drawers, paintings, etc. I love this bed. I like the cushions are really cool and stuff. And we kind of have a window ledge which you can just kind of stand on etc to look out the window. Very colourful, another plant and drawers, a chest of drawers and stuff like that. In here we have just like a coat hanger area or a wardrobe. Nice. Okay, let's go. Where to go? Is it this room? Oh, this is a sewing room. 
like clothes area and this really nice looking sewing machine which is plugged in down here it's amazing what you can make with wires and stuff you can always have imagination some more chest of drawers not sure what these are I guess just a shelf with random stuff on it and a rug etc very cool sewing room I like it and if you go in the bathroom and jump on the door you can get into the attic which is like a gift storage area also has this window out here you can look at oh that's kind of glitchy yeah basically this is just a storage area for gifts and axes see the roof as well oh crap I'll show you guys the secret entrance in a minute which is in the oops in the fireplace this so yeah, if you didn't know, there's actually a secret entrance and if you walk into the fireplace you go up here and then you get to go up these ladders and actually see the balloons which are here and you can see how many blocks this uh, whole balloons use, a lot of them Climb up the ladder and go up here and then you can see all the balloons, just crazy, it's like so many blocks that were used it took ages to make these balloons, a lot of data size as well. And let's go down here, you can see the balloons being held up by strings on your wires. And you have the simple roof pattern. Very nice. You see all the house cores and stuff. I like how the house interior matches all the rooms and windows etc. So that's the roof area very nice, it's really detailed and accurate of how the actual movie is a lot of people seem to agree that it is very accurate show you the attic because I kind of just jumped down somewhere so gifts etc in the attic and here as well so that's the attic area alright let's go down and just end the video I think that's it for now Boom. Anyway, that's a really cool up house. If you have time, follow Lol into Game. I'm sure, she'll let you see it because it's really awesome. This house. Anyway, that's all. Thanks for watching and bye.